Hi, sweetie. I'm Sciencey Sadie, your host of the Never Ending Cosmos, the show where we celebrate our love of the cosmos and drinking cosmos. Oops. And now it's time for the Never Ending Cosmos News Roundup. Woo! First up, Invasion of the Alien Particles. NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, or IBEX spacecraft, has detected hydrogen, oxygen, and neon that came from outside the solar system. It's weird though, because the ratio of oxygen to neon is lower outside the heliosphere than it is inside. It's like the solar system was like born in a more oxygen-rich part of the galaxy and then moved when it got older. I was into high oxygen interstellar medium before it was cool. Hipster solar system. Lego in space. Our next story is about two teenagers from Toronto, Ontario. They launched a Lego minifigure, like one of those little mini dude men that you play with Legos with, up at 25 kilometers using a healing balloon. And they took video of it. Wow. That's pretty impressive. They did it like on a budget of like $400. So we're talking about sending a Lego dude man into space for the cost of like a decent pair of shoes. That's what we're talking about here, people. That's pretty effing amazing. Seriously. <laughs> and our last story. Where are all the aliens? Thomas Hare of Florida Gulf Coast University in Fort Myers, Florida. Well, that's hard to read. Says, mathematically speaking, they should have been here by now. Assuming there are any aliens out there at all, some of them should have found Earth already. So, what he's saying is either they aren't any aliens anywhere, or they're avoiding us. Okay, aliens, if you're watching this, listen up. Just come and visit aliens. Like, we're cool. Come on, it'll be great. Hang out, have a drink, go clubbing. Just, you know, give us a call. Seriously, call us. We're so lonely. And now it's time to wrap the show up with viewer mail. Karen Bolowski from Baraboo, Wisconsin writes, Ah, pronunciation. Dear Sadie, my friend Mark says that this summer Mars will be as close... Ugh, this is so hard. My friend Mark says this summer Mars will be so close that it'll look as big as the moon. I say that's impossible. Who's right? Hi, Karen. Thanks for your letter. Okay, Mars is only like twice the diameter of the moon, so to look the same size, it have to be like about 800,000 kilometers away. But Mars never gets closer than about 55 a million kilometers. That's like way more than 800,000. So, you're from Mars, stupid. Mark Kellingham from Leland, Wisconsin writes, Dear Sadie, oh yeah? Well, I think you're stupid, so there. I saw the Mars thing on the internet, so it must be true. Okay, Mark, I'm going to speak really, really slowly and use small words so you can understand me. Not everything you see on the internet is true. Mars will never, ever look as big as the moon. That Nigerian prince isn't gonna give you a buttload of cash. Those pills won't make your penis bigger. And cats really can't play the keyboard. They're all better now. Rita Damsma from Guelph, Ontario writes, Dear Sadie, if this is your first episode, how can you already have your mail? And how did Mark respond to your first answer in the same episode? It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, Rita. 
You just don't understand the intricacies, the intricacies of internet communications. See, the internet is this big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey. So, no wait, that's not it. It's the Schrodinger's thing. No, I, no, not the cat thing. It's the quantums. Yeah, the, uh, the quantum things. The Schrodinger's Today I have with me Neil deGrasse Tyson, the host of an upcoming TV series called Cosmos. Just like my show, except for the never ending part. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Do you think never ending Cosmos is a better name for a show than just plain Cosmos? No one's debating that. Good, cause I'd win. I named mine after the universe and the drink. Did you name yours after the drink? And not the alcoholic kind. <laughs> really? Virgin Cosmos totally suck. I wouldn't name a TV show after them. Maybe you should change the name of your show. Call it Fred if you wanted. Ooh, I like that. It's really easy to remember. I see you notice my glasses. What do you think? So it's as simply as though you just had big eyes. No, it's just the glasses. Like them? Oh, yeah. Really? Why is that? Because it's spectacular. Aw, oh, thanks. Some people think it's silly to wear glasses indoors. That's wrong! I know, right? People can be such haters. Why do people have to be so mean? Oh, that a, remains a mystery. Do you think it's because they don't drink enough Cosmos? I don't have enough information to make that declaration. Yeah, we'd probably have to do like a randomized, double-blinded study to figure that out. But that'd be hard because you'd have to come up with a placebo Cosmo. Placebo Cosmo. I bet people could tell the difference. You can taste it. Yeah. It's probably not worth the trouble. Um, well, that's all the questions I have for you. Do you want to ask me anything? Just, what kind of thoughts do you have in a given day? Oh, wow. So many things. The mysteries of the universe, the human condition, cosmos, shoes. There's just so much to think about. Yes, and share that with others. Exactly. That's why I have this show. Isn't it great? I'm not imagining this. No, it's totally real. I know it seems too good to be true, but it is true. True. That's all the time we have. Thanks for stopping by. All right, a pleasure. That was Neil deGrasse Tyson, host of the new show, Fred. Oh, shit. <laughs>